Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about formation of different types of images by concave mirror. The type of image formed depends upon the position of the object in front of the concave mirror. This, as you can see, this is the concave mirror. In front of concave mirror, we can place the object at six different positions. This P is called as pole. F is the focus and C center of curvature. So we can place our object as you can see in the first case our object is placed between pole and focus. We can place the object between pole and focus and the second case is at the focus. Third one we can place the object at the center of curvature. Fourth one between focus and center of curvature. Fifth one is beyond center of curvature. And the sixth case is at infinity, means very far off distance. So let us discuss each case one by one in detail. In the first case, our object is placed between pole and focus. So when the object O is, you can see the arrow mark upwards, this is our object here. When the object is placed between pole and focus, uh, two reflected rays coming from the object according to rule 1 when the ray is parallel to the principal axis it passes through the focus you can see this is the incident ray and this one is the reflected ray and rule 2 says us that when the ray passes through the center of curvature incident gets reflected along the same path so when the two reflects, you can see these two reflected rays, they are not meeting anywhere here. But when we extend these reflected rays backwards, you can see I am extending these rays backwards here. The two reflected rays after extending backwards, they meet at a point. So this is the point where image is formed. So image is formed above the principal axis. Now let us see the characteristics of the images position of the image. As you know the image is formed behind the mirror. So I have written position of the image is behind the mirror. Nature is virtual and erect. Why virtual? Because the rays are not actually meeting. They appear to meet. When the rays appear to meet we call that image as virtual image. So virtual and erect. Why erect? because it is above the principal axis. If the image form below the principal axis, then we get an inverted image. Size of the image. The image size is bigger than the object. So we can say image is magnified image. Now coming to the second case, that is when the object is placed at the focus. So here object, our object is on the focus. Now same two rules ray passing parallel to the principal axis. You can see this line here, this big line what we draw, this is called as principal axis. So this uh, principal axis and this is the incident ray, both are parallel. So according to rule 1, when the ray is parallel to the principal axis, it passes through the focus. This is the reflected ray. And then second rule, ray passing through the center of curvature gets reflected along the same path. You can see this arrow mark incident ray and then reflecting along the same path. These two reflected rays, they meet at some point, at very far off distance they meet. So that is the reason I am writing here, image is formed at infinity. So now if I see the characteristics of the image, in this case how we have written position, let us write for the same thing for this one, position of the image here is the image formed is at infinity. So position will be at infinity. Nature of the image. Nature of the image here is real and inverted. Why real? Because the rays are after going at, after going uh, far off distance, they actually meet. So when the rays are really meeting, we call that image as real image. So real image and the image you can see the, ray, the rays will be meeting below the principal axis. So when it is meeting below the principal axis, we get an arrow mark downwards. So real and 
inverted. Next, size of the image. Size of the image is, you can see they meet when they meet at far distance, we'll get arrow marks something like this, like very big one. And this image is very big when compared to the object. So size of the image is magnified or you can say enlarged image. Coming to the third case, uh, here we are placing our object at the center of curvature. When the object is placed at the center of curvature, again we are using the same two rules. Uh, first one is, sorry, here we cannot use the second one. First one we have used which is parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus. But second rule we cannot use here because the object itself is placed on the center of curvature. So we are using third rule for this one that is when the incident ray passes through the focus is parallel to the principal axis. So we have used first rule and third rule. First rule passes parallel to the principal axis. Uh, when the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, it passes through the focus. The third rule is when it passes through the focus, then the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis. And you can see here two reflected rays. They are meeting at one point here. And when we extend this line, we get an image. So the image is also formed at C. So now if we write the characteristic of this image, the position will be position of this image will be uh, at center of curvature you can write at C next coming to size the size of the image is uh, same size as that of the object so that is actually third point size is same size same size as that of object and the second point we missed here that is nature. Nature of the image is the rays are really meeting. So it's a real image and inverted image. So real and I'm just writing R and I real and inverted image. Now coming to the next case that is case 4. In this our object is placed between focus and center of curvature. Now we can use the two rules here. Uh, first rule is when the ray is parallel to the principal axis after touching the concave mirror it passes through the focus so this is our reflected ray and the second rule is when the ray passes through the center of curvature gets reflected along the same path so this is the point where the image is forming because two reflected rays are meeting at this point now let us write the characteristics position of the image the image is uh, formed beyond the center of curvature. So you can write beyond C. And next coming nature. Na nature of the image is. It is real because the rays are actually meeting. And then below the principal axis. So real and inverted image. Real and inverted size of the images image size is bigger than the object so size of the image is magnified now coming to the fifth case that is now the object is placed beyond the center of curvature the first rule incident ray parallel to the principal axis after touching the concave mirror passes through the focus Second rule, when the incident ray passes through the center of curvature, after touching the mirror gets reflected along the same path. So here the two reflected rays are meeting. Wherever the two reflected rays meet, the image is formed. Now the image is formed between F and C. Let us write the characteristics. Position. Position of the image is... Uh, between F and C. So between F and C. F is focus and C is center of curvature. Nature of the image. Nature of the image is uh, 
Again, the rays are really meeting, so it is uh, real image. And then below the principal axis, so real and inverted. Real and inverted. Size of the image. You can see the size of the image is smaller than the object size. So we can write size, you can write smaller than the object or you can use the word diminished. Size of the image is diminished. Next coming to the last case that is case 6. When the object is very far, it cannot be shown in the diagram. So what I have done is, I have taken the two rays coming from same point of distant object. As you can see here, this is the incident ray and this one is also an incident ray. Both the rays are parallel to each other. The incident ray, according to rule 4, when the incident ray is incident at the point P, they get reflected making the same angle with the principal axis. So this reflected ray is making an angle with the principal axis. In the same way, the second incident ray, when it touches the concave mirror, it gets reflected making an angle with the principal axis. Now these two reflected rays are meeting at a point near the focus. So when you extend this line downwards, you can see image is formed. As you know that when two reflected rays meet, image is formed. So when we write the characteristic of this image, the position of the image is at focus because reflected rays are meeting at focus, at F, nature of the image will be real because the reflected rays are actually meeting and inverted below the principal axis that is why inverted nature is real and inverted size of the images you can see here the size is much smaller than that of the object so size will be highly diminished you can write size as highly diminished or you can uh, write it in other way like much smaller than the object by this we come to end of our topic that is formation of different types of images by concave mirror. Thank you.